Yo, my name is Liam Hendricks, and I uh, play as Gabriel in the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And it's totally not some guy trying to pretend to be him because he wanted the role as Gabriel, so he's going to pretend to be Gabriel. And today, we are going to be watching the Five Nights at Freddy's opening credits. I really hope I'm in them. And the special twist, we are doing it in my bathroom because I have no other way to record it. But the bathroom is awesome. The bathroom is fire. Look, I got, I got, I got towels. I got towels. I got a stool. This is amazing, guys. All right, let's watch it. So we have Universal. No music. A little bit, just the uh, Tori Dora March. Don't ask why my voice got so deep, guys. Anyways, you like the drip. This is actually what I wore in the movie. This is totally not a different shirt just because I couldn't find those Puerto Rican shirts even though I'm Puerto Rican. Blumhouse Studios. Productions. I don't know any of these movies. I'm only a nine-year-old. Even though I'm like five, five. We're waiting every night to finally romance and invite newcomers to play with us. For many years we've been all oh yeah, messed up the verse. Long verse. Very intense music. I like it though. It's my boy Scott. Thank you, Scott. I swear my bathroom's haunted. This is why this is the coolest part of, of my of my crib. Yeah, nobody cares about those people. They only care about the cast members. Those are where the real stuff comes in. That's me, by the way, yeah. Josh Hutcherson, he was from The Hunger Games. Very good movie. I don't know why I'm watching The Hunger Games at nine years old. Why is my voice so deep? Oh, yeah, Shaggy. Whatever his name is, I can't read. It's purple now. I know most of the cast members are great people, except for the people that were, um, not in the, on not the screen. Because those people were very nasty, they were very directing. Especially the director. I like it, but that's kind of why it's called the director. Yeah, and also the scripts were trash. They didn't even put the vibe of 83. Lucas Grant is overrated in here. Hey, where's Foxy and Cool and K?